Hey everybody, I'm here with a quick video on the Real Housewives of Potomac Reunion Part 2. And honey, let me, well, before I get into this, let me say this. If you want to see my whole full recap on Reunion Part 2, join me tomorrow night on my channel, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we will be doing the full recap. But I had to come here really quickly, because tonight... I had to sit up on my couch. I was laying back, just watching, dealing with the nonsense, the gaslighting, the line kept moving, as Candace like to say. And I was like, here we go with the nonsense. But then I had to sit up. Oh, yeah. I had to sit up when the husbands got on the stage. Because tonight, we had an MVP in the building. Most valuable player. And yeah, that was Candace's husband, Chris. Uh-huh. Chris showed up showed out, shut it down to the point where Andy didn't even know what to say. So Robin had the nerve. How do you have the nerve to question somebody else's husband when your husband didn't even show up? I'm going to need you to tap out of this conversation, Robin. I'm going to need you to not ask not one husband any questions or not even say hello because yours didn't show up. And you got the nerve to be questioning Candace's husband? Like, how dare you? But he gathered her. He got her all the way together. First, he told Andy, because Andy asked him, was you not here on purpose or this, that, that, and the other? What do you have to say about this, that, that, and the whole Giselle thing? And he said, honestly, after last year reunion, I wrote some notes here. He said, I'm tired of talking about it. I haven't talked about it. He said, I haven't tweeted about anything. And he said, I don't really give a F. Yeah, he came there on ready. Mm-hmm. Then here comes Robin. Robin wanted to ask about this mistress, about the girl, and so forth and so on. She on question one, but she, I mean, uh, 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 Chris, but she ain't question one. She believed her own husband. And there's pictures and all of that of him at the laundromat. And he said himself, he went down to pay somebody hotel bill. You trust him and got no questions for him. But you want to question Chris? You got the nerve. So he said, no, I never met the person. He said, when, uh, when, when she asked, you know, you know, did you ever meet her? She's, uh, so here go Robin. So the screenshots, he said, I never met the person. And here go Robin. So she photoshopped the screenshots from your account. He said, I'll say it one more time. I never met the person. He shut Robin down. And he's sitting up straight on standing on business, sitting on business. Uh -huh. Then he made a very good point. He told Andy to the point where Andy didn't even know what to say or what to do. He said, it's funny how you got a person who can say they use the wrong words and all is well. And we're going to move on for that. And that person never gets questioned again. And Giselle knew he was talking about her. He said, but Candace... Candace says the wrong words. She got to be spoken to year after year, season after season. And Andy just moved right on. Because what could he say about that? Because that was nothing but the facts. So, Chris, I never really thought either way, left or right about you. But tonight, reunion part two, you stood on business. You spoke facts. You kept it straight. You had some emotion in there, but I understand where the emotion was from. Because I understand everything that happened to you as a part of being on this show with your wife. But tonight you showed up and showed out. And you get an A-plus from the diva. Uh-huh. Most valuable player. If it wasn't for you, reunion part two would have been a bunch of nothing. But you came through, showed up, and shut it down. This is my Pellegrino water, everybody. And this one is, this, Chris, this is for you and your wife, Candace. That did the darn thing. And Candace, I'm proud of you. You do got a mouth on you, but I'm proud of you because you're doing very well in this reunion. It's a lot of gaslighting going on and you handling it well. Listen, guys, your chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. How do you feel Chris handled this reunion so far when he arrived on the stage? I say he shut it down. MVP. Chris, what's his ass? Ain't Bassett. 
All right, guys. Chat with me now. Well, chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button. I'll see you on the next video, or maybe I'll see you tomorrow night when I'm doing my recap. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.